There was a Twitter Tinder fight last night. Vanity Fair journalist and Nancy Josala says that apps such as Tinder are creating a dating apocalypse. The first shot from the journalist is the tweet that read 30 percent of all Tinder users who are supposed to be single are married per a new report from the Global Web Index. She states in the article that Tinder is the worst offender. Tinder's PR team responded saying, hey, Nancy Jo Salas, if that survey is correct and you're interested in having a factual conversation, we're here. There was a Tinder tweet storm for the next two hours straight. One of the Tinder co-founders, Bumble co-founder, Whitney Wolf, with me now. Whitney, were you up all night reading through the 31 messages that the Tinder team sent out? No, I, I was not. I, I woke up and I guess I had missed it last night. So do you know the person who was tweeting that out and do you think that he or she was too defensive? I have no idea who's responsible, and quite frankly, I I have no comment on the okay. on the situation. Well, you've since moved forward. We know you left tw Tinder. You have founded a new dating site called Bumble. Yes. Why did you leave Tinder? What was missing that you've created at Bumble? Oh well, uh, my departure from Tinder really does not have anything to do with Bumble. At Bumble, we are really looking to solve the online pro uh, the real life problem of women feeling a bit nervous to make the first move and, and men feeling constantly pressured to always go first. So on Bumble, the, the woman does have to make the first move. She has 24 hours to do so. So it creates a little uh, bit of excitement and it puts some flattery um, in the guy's court and it puts some confidence in the woman's court. I was just going to say, so how does it change the tone? What's the biggest difference that you've seen? Yeah, so I, I'm a firm believer that when there's no uh, fear of being turned down or rejected, that that anticipated um, kind of defense mechanism goes away. So if if a man doesn't have that you know 50-50 chance of getting rejected, and he's met with flattery because the the woman started the conversation, he responds in a really uh, kind and. In, in pleasant way. Okay, so it's a kinder, gentler version of some other apps that are out there. You have a kind of VIP, but you call it VIB, which is like a verification system for your most engaged users. Why, so, yes. Yeah, why is this an important differentiator? Well, we're, we're actually about to roll it out here in the next week. And it, it's really not meant to punish or to weed out any users. It's really a way to reward our very, um, you know, active and okay. engaged users. All right. Sounds very good. VIB instead of VIP. We like it. Whitney Wolf, thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.